Meanwhile, switching gears, sales of Bud Light have dropped even more following its controversial partnership with trans activist Dylan Mulvaney. National retail sales falling 23% over one year ago. That's worse than a week ago when sales were down 21%. And our guest discovered he couldn't even give away Bud Lights for free. Experiment here. There appear to be three different types of beer in this cooler. 6.45. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to come back and record this at 9.45 and show you what's left. The only beer left, Bud Light. Not ideal. Not good. If you're Bud Light, OutKick founder Clay Travis with that experiment. <laughs> Clay, what gave you the idea? What was, were you surprised by the results? Uh, you know, I was uh, at a event out here where I live in uh, Franklin, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville, and the cooler had a bunch of different types of right. beer. And so when the event started, there were bands playing. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I opened the cooler and I reached in and I said, oh, this is interesting. You know, you had Mick Ultra and I understand Mick Ultra is a uh, also an Anheuser-Busch product. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you had Yingling and you actually had a couple of other ranch waters and other things in there and a lot of Bud Lights. And uh, when I opened it up, I turned uh, to my wife and I said, hey, I bet nobody here will come and take <laughs> a Bud Light and will look back in a several hours I bet this thing will be filled basically with only Bud Light. They didn't restock the cooler. It was just right there, pop the top, grab whatever yeah. beer you want. And by late in the evening, all that was left was Bud Light. And since right. I posted these videos, by the way, guys, I've had so many people reach out to me, particularly all over the South, and say, this is happening at my golf course, or this right. is happening at my minor league baseball stadium, or all these different places where people walk yep. up and make a choice about what kind of beer they want. So I think it's uh, symptomatic, emblematic of what uh, Bud Light is dealing with all over the country right now. Well, Clay, I, I was down in Florida over the weekend, and uh, after we played pickleball, my wife and I went out to a, a lunch place that served beer and whatnot, and I asked the waitress how many people were buy, buying Bud Light, and they, she said, nobody today, nobody yesterday. So, <laughs> yeah. so what does your... What does your uh, experiment show? That people won't even take a free beer because uh. they don't they don't want to be seen with it in their hand? Yeah. Yeah. I think that the Bud Light brand for many people out there has become so toxic that guys guys know, right, that if you get a Bud Light right now and you're holding a Bud Light, your buddies, let's say you're out golfing, let's say, like I said, I uh, you're out at a social event, yep. your buddy's going to walk up and be like, oh, you're a big Bud Light guy, huh? <laughs> right. uh, and you're going to get made fun of a little bit in a way that you wouldn't if you drink right. Coors Light and Miller Light. And also, people don't want to be seen as endorsing this in any way so they're choosing another product yeah, and that's why i think this thing's not going away i think this is the most yeah. successful conservative boycott of a product that we have probably mm. ever seen and i think it's sending shock waves through many different brands all over I the country to see what's happening to bud light. in times square the bud lights would be gone i think it's regional i think down south <laughs> no somebody we, would literally steal the entire they cooler would, they would but down south yeah. we're about we're three months away from college football as you know you'll be on the road doing all oh. those games if those tailgates are going to be affected by this. You will not, Ainsley, it's mm -hmm. a great point. You will not see Bud Light at SEC <laughs> tailgates so and true. ACC right. tailgates 100% this fall. You, you don't need, like, Michael Jordan to endorse it, something to reverse the trend. Uh, we'll see. Clay, good, good experiment. I love the way you did it and the scientific way you approached it. <laughs> no, it in fantastic. my experiment, <laughs> it's what I Yeah, found. you know me, just a <laughs> right. regular Edison here. Exit question. During those three hours, how many beers did you have? Probably eight or nine. Okay, just checking. <laughs> All right, All right Clay, go you. get him. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.